zone. Touchdown, Rams. Herman Moore, 36 yards. As his guys continue to put this one out of reach. As a fan, is there anything prettier than a well-executed post route? No, it's a thing of beauty, especially when it's done like that for a touchdown. Uh, the throw, the catch, and how about the run after to get it to the end zone? The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly, because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Hill running right. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. He'll drop to throw. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Mean Joe Green. Who else? He's in there for his fourth sack of the afternoon. This has been a tough one for this offensive line. It appears almost like they've been on roller skates this entire game, the way they've been pushed around. Six sacks given up in this one. Touchdown, L.A. Patrick Peterson, 37 yards as his guys continue to pour it on. We can debate all we want about Patrick Peterson returning punts. We know he's a pro Bowl corner, so there's a risk factor there. But he loves it, and he often creates big plays, as we just saw there. Yeah, here the end justifies the mean, so to speak. So after surrendering the punt return for a score, let's see what they can do in turn on this kickoff. This will be taken in at the one. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And right now these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting because three straight drives have ended with them putting the football away. Yes, yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. At the 16-yard line. And once again, Hill, he's been busy. Oh, now it's free. Hill fumbled it. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Mean Joe Green. My goodness, make that now five sacks for him in this ball game. Really, really turning in an incredible performance. Here's Brian Anger now as he's on to punt for New England. Oh, it's a wobbler here. And that one didn't accomplish a whole lot. It'll be down inside the 35-yard line. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Gurley. And a five-yard gain as he's down inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. And what do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage, use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. A 
first down throw for Prescott. And this is caught. He's got it. Touchdown in L.A. Evan Ingram, a beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. As his guys continue to put this one out of reach. Finitary able to tack on the PAT. And the lead will swell by one more. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. you got to get points. And okay, all right. I'm... Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Ryan Shazier just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. He'll look to throw. And that going to be incomplete. A lot of contact, no call, and it's third down. Another incompletion. You know, it's a wonder he's still moving around back there the number of times he's been sacked. Yeah, he's staying out there, isn't he? And you don't think about it much in a game like this, but he's showing incredible leadership. Still competing, still fighting, not taking himself. Now the pressure comes, and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. Mean Joe Green in there to get him again. That is sack number 6, one off the NFL record. Record of seven. Here's Brian Anger now as he's on to punt for New England. And here's a very low line drive, almost whiffed on it. The Patriots take over first and ten at their own 30 yard line. Ready, ready. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And last drive, three and out. Still a goose egg on the scoreboard. How do they break that goose egg? They've got to find a way to get the ball in the hand. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Mean Joe Green in there to get him again. That is sack number six, one off the NFL record of seven. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Patriots with a football as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Throwing on second and long. Patty. And he fires one that's intercepted. It's the former Seahawk, Richard Sherman. And he will bring it back. It's an interception return for a Rams touchdown. That's the story of the game. They've been suffocating all game long on defense. They were suffocating there again in a big way. And they've done it not just by out-athleting them, which is often the case, but by being able to adjust to anything they tried to throw at them and beating them to the punch each and every time. This was a defense that was well-prepared. Benetari connecting on the extra point, and that will extend this big lead. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he will be brought down here at about the 17-yard line. The Pats at the line, ready to go. They are just obviously getting shellacked here in this one, Charles. What's, what's the message if you're a coach for this final drive in a lopsided game like this? For a lot of nowhere to escape, and he goes down. The sack by Harold Landry, the former Boston College Eagle. That right now, that's a defeated ready, team ready. out there. I think you can see it totally in their body language. Hands on hips, heads low. Uh, it's just been a struggle from the start. Yeah, this team has been thoroughly beaten right from the word go. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And he'll be just shy of the 20 at the 19 as he goes out of bounds. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. They'll drop the throw. Nowhere to 
escape, and he goes down. Mean Joe Green in there for the seventh time in this game alone, and that ties him with the late Derek Thomas for the most sacks ever in a single game. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And it is incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And now possession will go over inside the 15-yard line. Throwing here, Prescott. And this will be caught. And the carnage continues. It's another touchdown. Vinatieri now for the point after. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Pats at the line, ready to go. Let's just be frank. They're playing for pride at this point. <laughs> that's, that's all that's left, because victory, not a chance now. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Coming up now on a second and 15 following that sack. Second and 15. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. Just nothing there again. He's been sacked multiple times. We've seen the interceptions, of course. Uh, he's really been through the ringer, hasn't he? And what we've seen is a defense that's well-coordinated. The front and the back really in sync. The front putting on the pressure, the backside being ball hawks and picking passes off. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense, they're just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. It'll go as just a 15-yard punt. And the Rams will go on offense here with the first and 10. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And this game comfortably in hand. The scoreboard speaks for itself, but you still got your starting quarterback out there. When do you go to the backup, let him get some time? And that's one of the great questions in the NFL, Brandon, because I'm just going to tell you, in the 2015 season, I commentated on three games in a row. They were blowouts. And in none of them did the starting quarterback ever come out of the game for the team that had a big lead. And in each instance, I asked the coaches later on, why didn't you do that? Todd Gurley, wave goodbye. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Well, I've got to laugh here, and I really don't want to because the old school in me is not happy about this score this late, not necessary. But this is Madden, isn't it? Yeah. This, is how, this is how it works. Rub it in. Have a day. I mean, what, what does it matter? <laughs> These guys who are playing in this game, there are no feelings exactly. there. Exactly. They don't have to face the guy. Well, they might if they're in the same room going head to head. But, <laughs> but that's the about virtual it. guys on the screen don't have to face each other after this one. In that case, run it up. This will be taken in at the one. And he will take it back only to about the 13-yard line here. The Pats at the line, ready to go. They are down big. They have not scored a single point. I don't know. Are they so defeated at this point, you just want to get in the locker room and get the heck out of here? That is one way to approach it. Sometimes coaches say, that's it, okay? It hasn't worked all game. There's no sense in doing something now. Let's get out of here. No one gets hurt. 
But others will look at it and say, we still have an opportunity to do pride something. pride on the line. Exactly. You have pride on the line, execution as you look forward and, and, and get, get ready for your next game, and a message to your team. We're not going to quit. No matter what, no matter what the battle is, we're going to finish this thing out. So the L.A. Rams with a victory here. And I tell you what, Charles, this might be about as good as it gets. They were incredible. Yeah, offense was in fine form. The defense through the...